K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And this place is rocking after the starting lineups were announced. An incredible playoff atmosphere. Opening tip in just a moment. Game one of the Eastern Conference Semis. Everything gets turned up a notch. Let's get to it here on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson at the table with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. A very interesting, Alley. Good stuff there. Thank you. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum. They're the forwards. Cameron Payne out there with Marcus Smart. And it's Horford in at the five spot. And for the Bucks, the foundation of this team, Middleton and Giannis, the three and the four. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. And it's Plumley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. You take a look at the Celtics, and you just wonder how exhausted they are at this stage, given how many games they played in the first round. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly a test of their endurance and their focus. I really look for their bench to play a big part in tonight's game if they're to win. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Now here's Payne. Pass to Horford. Now here's Tatum. Over on an Akumpo. Tatum can't hit. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Back to on Akumpo. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. This is what makes Giannis such an elite player. His ability to score in those difficult situations down low with lots of bodies around him. Now here's Tatum. Shot clock at six. Takes a 13-footer and stolen by Anadokounmpo. Outside Holiday. And Giannis with the jam. How about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team first player. Love that from the guard position. To Tatum. Defense, 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 Uses the glass Easy on the layup. Tatum. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Pass to Middleton. Over Tatum. Can't get it to drop, and it's Boston the other way. Now Brown unloads from 13. It's not going to go for him. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. DiVincenzo can't hit. The Celtics have gone one of three from the floor. It's Brown on the wing. Outside Payne. Shoots over DiVincenzo. The rebound by the Bucks. Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. Holiday against Smart. Here's DiVincenzo. No good on the shot. And it's Boston the other way. Outside Tatum. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Back to DiVincenzo. Pass to Holiday. Inside. Humley finds out to Kumpo. Three pointer is up. Middleton can't get it to go. Making him 0 for 2. Austin trailing. 
Here's Payne. And here's Tatum. On an Akumpo covering. Fires from the line. Giannis with the rebound. And so far, the team just one of five in that rim shrinking. Oh, there's the alley. And an emphatic jam on the line. That's a nice toss up there, so you gotta like the timing. But of course, that's Giannis. He's gonna grab anything. And Boston calls time here. Scores in the playoffs on our 2K leaderboard. Giannis Antetokounmpo on top. Jason Tatum fourth. Seems like these two can always find points, no matter what big game pressure they're playing under. Payne, pass to Horford. Here's Tatum. Launches it. Another miss. He's one for four from the field. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Tatum. As he continues to develop his offensive skill set, Plumley is going to draw more and more fouls like that. You take a look at the Celtics. Hey, they're coming in hot. You talk to these guys, they believe they can go all the way. Yeah, you know, and I really like and appreciate the enthusiasm. I know they swept the first round, but there's still a long way to go. And it's going to take more than confidence to pull the upset in this series. First free throw is good. Hits them both. The Celtics have gone just one of six to begin the game. Pass to Tatum. That one doesn't drop. Ooh, good D by Plumley. The Bucks have gone three of seven so far. Here's on to Kumpo. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. The drive by Brown. Giannis with the rebound. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. From 11 feet away, misses off the right iron. Fires high post. And it's Tatum missing. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. And they double up on it to Kumpo. 13 feet out. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. Giannis right now getting hard work done on the inside to get some extra possession. On to Kumpo has got a perfect five for five for the field. Outside Tatum. Deflected. Just cannot get anything to go if there's going to be a way to get out of this hole. I don't think he'll be the one to do it. Outside Holiday. Pass to Ana Kumpo. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires from deep. That's good from Holiday on the assist by Ana Kumpo. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played hard. We know who that was. Timeout called. The Celtics. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Cousins, he's checked in for the Bucks. Brown against Middleton. To halt the run. And he hits the Here jump shot. It just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Pass to DiVincenzo. Let's it fly. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. <laughs> I just love the ball. Now 
smart. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And he drives in. And the shot goes down. That's as sweet as you're going to get it. Fluid motion, great lift, rolls right off the fingertips. Milwaukee has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Holiday passes to Anacumpo. Here's Holiday. Second chance effort, and it's finished off by Anacumpo as he lays it in. Anacumpo oh. has got 12 points in the game. Payne with it. Pass to Brown. Now here's Williams. Outside Payne. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. The Bucks have got 8 of 15 shots to go. Payne against Holiday. To the right side. Anacupo finds Holiday. Misses the three. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Here's Smart. It's tipped. And he's going for the lob. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Really taking charge of the game. Largely with the detailed interior attack. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight? Just getting down into the painted area. And just dominating, controlling that spot. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. one's good. Middleton. Middleton's got his second basket of the night. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Now here's Smart. From 12 feet. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. To the paint. Here's Holiday. Brown with the block. And he recovers it. And the basket by Holiday. Yeah, their aggressive approach on the offensive glass has created second chance opportunities. We've got 1.55 left to play in the first. Rebounded by Cousins. Milwaukee's gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Down low. Kicks it out to Middleton. Gets the three to fall. Middleton's got his third bucket of the night. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Outside, Brown. Ooh, he can't stop the run as that misses. Holiday with the ball. And it's Payne picking him up. Holiday passes to Anacumpo. Count it. Anacumpo's got 16. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Payne finds Brown. Out to the right wing. Outside Payne. Six to shoot. Let's the three fly. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's going to go on to Marcus Cousins. At the line for the Celtics, Cameron Payne, three shot. He shot, three shot. And he hits the first of three. And the Bucks with some changes. Bazemore's checked in for Anadokounmpo. James comes in for DiVincenzo. And it's Lee in for Holiday. He hits the second from the line.
and he nails the third. There's 49 seconds left in the opening quarter. Here's Lee. Driving inside. Pass to Middleton. Just five on the clock. And another three for Milwaukee. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Here's Neesmith. Tries again. They get it again. Here's Brown. And finally, they hit one. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Middleton. Good on the bucket. Middleton's got 12 points. Keep your eyes on the prize. Middleton did just that and sunk the shot despite getting roughed up a bit. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for Milwaukee. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And some down shooting nights will happen. But Giannis says the Bucks will continue to play the right way. Well, keep shooting, man. keep making plays, keep finding the open man. And uh, obviously, the ball going go in eventually. You know, it's a season and uh, there's going to be games that you're not going to play your best. Uh, you're not going to knock down shots. But at the end of the day, we find ways to win and uh, got to keep shooting the ball. Got to keep shooting the ball. And Grant, no doubt, they can always lean on their defense. And we know the Bucks are strong enough at that end. I mean, they can scrap out wins even when they struggle to score. Happy to have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bucks? Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. It also feels like they just got into a great rhythm from the three-point line right away in the game. So the Celtics five right now. They've got Moses Brown, Wayne Ellington out there with Cameron Payne. Then there's Robert Williams, and it's Neesmith in at the small forward position. Cousins came into the NBA I had a chance to watch him at his very first summer league game and I thought he'd be a problem then well he's still a problem now I mean he could do so many things out there Williams against Cousins here's Ellington off target from outside yeah you know he usually makes you pay from that range pass to Middleton For Williams, Middleton, no good. Boston shooting only 27% for today's game. Here's Ellington. How quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point to the game. Well, that was clearly a foul. At the line for the Celtics, Wayne Ellington. At the line for two. One falls for him. And the Bucks making a change here. Plumley's checked in. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. He's off on the second. Milwaukee has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Lee misses. shot on the way. Ellington can't hit. 
For Milwaukee, they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Pass to Bazemore. Here's Lee. Here's Plumley. And here's Middleton. He's got 12. It doesn't go for him. Brown with some nice D. Here's Neesmith. Brown passes to Payne. Now Brown. Here's Neesmith. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Neesmith's got this first bucket of the night. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Middleton outside. Fires the three. Rebound Boston. Started out strong for three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. Ellington. Horford passes to Brown. Pass to Neesmith. Another shot. The shot no good. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Earlier they held a 23-point lead. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Ellington. Horford outside. To the middle. Here's Brown. They grab their own miss. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Here's Lee. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Oh, they need this. And the Bucks miss again. The Celtics have got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Outside, Brown. Let's it fly. Boy, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Horford's got his first points in this one. Knocked it down there. As his career has gone on, Al Horford has added more and more to his outside game. The Celtics have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Payne against James. The shot by Payne, no good. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Lee. To the inside. Basket by Plumley. Well, bouncy in the pick and roll. Plumley is a high percentage finisher in that kind of situation. Timeout called the Celtics. They're giving up a lot of points in the paint. That's something they have to address here. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it. And make the adjustment. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Brown. Jalen Brown comes in for Ellington. And Smart subbed in for Payne. And it's stolen by Plumley. Out of bounds. Boston will have it. And this is who's leading the charge when it comes to rebounding here in the postseason. Second is Giannis Antetokounmpo. His awareness around the rim has really been impressive lately. It's obvious he knows every possession is important in the playoffs. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Any hope of coming back to win this game looks near impossible. I know. The way things have gone so far, hard to imagine. And there's the call on Mason Plumlee. That's his first foul of the game. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for James. And Boston has possession. 
They've only allowed five points in the quarter. Up top Tatum. On to Kumpo covering. Just five to shoot. Tatum passes to Smart. Boston no good that time either. Milwaukee has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. A nice shot by Bazemore. I love how Bazemore just takes it to the defense on the drive and finishes that one easily. Shows no mercy when the ball's in his hand. Milwaukee foul. That's his first and the Celtics making a change here. Checking in for the Celtics. Outside. It's Brown on the wing. Knocks it down from distance. Brown's got seven points in the game. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Pass to Bazemore. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Boston's gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Smart outside. Back to Brown. Five to shoot. Here's Tatum. Shot blocked. Showing good shot blocking skills at times. Plumley gets all of that one. Drew Holiday's checked in for the Bucks. Drew Holiday. And so it's Boston with it. 17-point game. He's on a roll in this quarter. The defense better be careful. Here's Anadokounmpo. DiVincenzo. Good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Anadokounmpo has got his fourth assist with that last one. Smart passes to Brown. Outside Tatum. Launches a three. Wesley with a rebound. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Takes it inside. Aaron the B.A. The one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powered at home like that. Outside Holiday. To the wing on the left. Humley finds Holiday. Here's Wesley. Clock at six. Pass to Holiday. The three ball. And another three for Milwaukee. Boy, does that help. When Drew Holiday is connecting from the three-point line, it opens up so much of the floor. To the middle. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. Outside Holiday. And he lobs it up. And Giannis with the dunk. Uh, textbook stuff from Holiday off the pick and roll. He comes around the screen and rewards the screener with the pass. Outside, Brown. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. That's his first. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. And the Bucks making a change here. Cousins is checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. Williams is checked in. He's gone two of five from deep here in the second. Here's Anadokounmpo. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. 
This guy upping his scoring average every year. Tonight's effort's only going to increase the chances of Giannis to do that again maybe this season. Drops in the Jason three. Tatum. Tatum's got five now. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Pass to DiVincenzo. Anadokounmpo outside. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Brown with the steal. Beyond the arc. Called in by DiVincenzo. Milwaukee has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line of this game. Well, every coach should show players game tape of how he just boxed out right there. Great job with the footwork and using his body to step to the rebound. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first personal foul. Great job drawing the foul. Five. And almost converted the shot as well. For the Celtics, Jalen Brown taking two shots. Good. Brown. And both free throws good for Brown. Showing more aggression here in the second quarter. He's seeking contact and working himself to the line. Holiday passes to Cousins. With some arc, that one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Smart with the ball. Pass to Brown. Outside Tatum. From downtown. Rebounded by the Bucks. DiVincenzo's got four rebounds now. Here's Wesley. There's the three. And the three-pointer goes. And the Bucks lead by 20. Yep, that's a great look from Giannis there. A minute four left in the second quarter. Here's Tatum. Played it in with a nice Jason touch Tatum. off the window. Tatum's got seven points. That's how you draw it up right there. A screen. Shed the defense. Quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Here's Anadokounmpo. Goes back up. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. The Celtics shooting about 45% during the second quarter. 35 seconds left in the first half. Anadokounmpo with the block. Beyond the physical stuff, what I like about Giannis right now is the feel for the game. That time, great timing defensively. Outside, DiVincenzo. Six on the shot clock. Here's Wesley. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Bucks ahead. They lead by 18. Don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. for the Bucks, boy, have they ever started this series off on the right foot. They've thrown down the gauntlet here in game one with their intensity and effectiveness on both ends of the floor. Now, they've got a little bit of an intimidation factor going into the second half. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? They had a tremendous first half from the three point. Their shot selection was pretty sound, considering how many threes they took. And the confidence of the shooters, <laughs> now that's outstanding. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? Well, they're not finding good shots, and that starts with their ball movement. Too much hero basketball. Sharp enough to attack. 
More motion. Quick cuts. Get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back at that time. Right? to get back into it here in game one. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Hey, we didn't expect this. Not normally a big-time assist maker. He's done a great job moving the ball around. Now you can get into a passing rhythm, and so far all of his have been on point. And welcome back, folks, for more Eastern Conference semifinal action. Milwaukee has got six of 11 threes to go in this game. Middleton is the three with Giannis in at four. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. And it's Plumley in at the five. And that's the group from Mike Budenholzer as we begin the second half. Tatum against Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo with the block. Now here's Holiday. Pass to Anadokounmpo. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Anna Kumpo has got 22. See the way Giannis kept going and kept his eye on the basket. That helped. Payne pass to Brown. Outside Tatum. Even Chinzo against Horford. Can't connect from 14. The Bucks shooting 52% from the floor so far. Here's Middleton. Again, Milwaukee! Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. A difficult situation for Boston. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Tatum. No good off the back of the rim. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. We love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Pass to Tatum. Here's Horford. DiVincenzo covering. Horford can't hit. Might be time for the coaching staff to bust out a play for him to get going. 0 for 4 to start the half. Here they come with numbers in transition. Boston foul. Jason Taylor. That's and now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. It's into the second half of play now. Middleton with it. Picked up by Tatum. Shoots off the step back. Boston with a rebound. Pass to Payne. Here's the teardrop, and he sinks the layup. Payne's got seven. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. Here's Holiday. Second shot opportunity. And no problem from Anacupo as he finishes at the rim. Anacupo's got 24 points. Outside Tatum. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. To admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. James is checked in for the Bucks. Lee comes in for Drew Holiday. The Celtics also with a sub. Ellington's checked in. Up top, Horford. That's tipped. And the Bucks pushing it up now. Here's Lee. Excellent D there from Payne. For Boston, they've gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. There's the drive. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Payne's got four points in the quarter. For Milwaukee, they've gone four of eight in the third. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Back to Lee. Now here's Middleton. Anadokounmpo up top. 
they double up on it Kupo. Four on the clock. And the basket by Lee. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. And here's Brown. Pass to Tatum. Middleton. Middleton's got five rebounds tonight. Ana Kumpo against Tatum. Middleton with it. Ana Kumpo outside. Yep, that one goes. Ana Kumpo has got 26 points. That's a nice move on the bounce from Giannis, showing time that the out, tools out. are getting sharper. And Boston calls time here. You look at Giannis Antetokounmpo. What a contribution. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. Free t-shirts. Let's see who's the lowest. Bazemore's checked in for Plumley. Brown, he's checked in for Boston. Neesmith comes in for Jalen Brown. Here's Horford. It's Ellington on the wing. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. And that's exactly how you attack Link. I love how he doesn't lack assertiveness. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. And when you've got your opponent down, you don't want to take your foot off the pedal. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. Here's Neesmith. Six to shoot. Here's the three. The shot won't fall. The Bucs go the other way with it. Middleton attacking. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. Man, how about the focus there? Middleton taking the contact well and then completes the drive with some style. Pass to Neesmith. Puts it up from 12. He can't get it to go. Great D that time for Middleton. Down low. And the basket by Lee. Lee's got his third basket on the night right there. Now Kent Bazemore knows that his contributions come from being active and Bazemore becoming a better passer. Here's Neesmith. Pass to Horford. Takes a 13-footer. Rejected by Anna Kumpo. Here's Lee driving to the basket. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. And it's going to go on Cameron Payne. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Milwaukee. Oh, their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. And he drops it first. Cousins, he's checked in for the Bucks. The Celtics also with a sub. Williams has checked in for Horford. And so he makes both from the line. Unfortunately for them, they're reeling at this point. So true. Very little going their way right now at either end of the floor. Here's Ellington. Checked by James. Inside. A nice shot oh, by Brown. Brown's got six points. That's unblockable unless they can get a bigger man on him. Got to learn your lesson. Here's Bazemore. And he dunks it down. And Bazemore has these moments. Sick hops right there in the flush to send it home. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Payne, the pass to Brown. Rebounded by Cousins. Cousins has got four rebounds in the game. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Here's Lee. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Lee's got 11 points here in the second half. As bad as he was in the first half, that's how good he's been since. 
Outside Payne. Pass to Neesmith. Outside Payne. Shot clock at five. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Neesmith shot is off. His poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He Celtics needs foul. to get on track. Moses they're going to find a way to win. That's his second personal foul. Two shots. Second foul. team foul. Elbow. Two. At the line for Milwaukee. Saban Lee. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. So he gets them both. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Anthony Smith. The three is up. And they'll get another chance. Foul. Kent Bazemore. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. So it's Boston now. It's Ellington on the wing. Clock at six. Second chance shot. And it's good on the layup. Ellington's got five. Getting the ball inside. Usually a pretty good recipe. And Robert Williams picks up the foul. That's his first foul. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. The Celtics making a switch here. Smart's checked in. to Wesley takes a three the rebound Celtics Williams has got four rebounds in the game smart outside shot clock at six charity stripe shot Rebound, Milwaukee. Cousins has got rebound number five here tonight. Middleton outside. Two minutes. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Knocked away. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Boston ball. Different look for checked Milwaukee. The Vincenzo, he's checked in for Bazemore. And Holiday subbed in for Lee. Edwards, he's checked in for Boston. A minute 53 left to play in the third quarter here. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Cousins. Milwaukee has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Here's Wesley. Williams defending. And the layup is good off the glass. He's got five. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Bucket is good. Williams has got his first basket. I'd like to see them run more plays for him. Maybe something in motion to make it harder for the defense to deny the ball. Middleton, left side. Outside Holiday. Got a piece of it. Five on the clock. The shot. 
That shot is off. And Boston going the other way now. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Here's Neesmith on the take. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Neesmith's got six. And I absolutely love the attack mentality. <laughs> Even with the bigger defender on him. Yeah, that's an awesome finish there for sure. Not allowing that big guy to have his way or, or alter the shot. Here's DiVincenzo using his post moves to get the two points. What a burst out of that first step. Straight to the hole. Outside Edwards. Pass to Smart. Can't hit it from 12 feet. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with zero pressure as they hold on to a 35-point advantage. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. To talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. On the floor for Boston, Jason Tatum out there with Neesmith. Then there's Edwards, and it's Langford in at the shooting guard position. Here's Neesmith to the paint. Here's Edwards. Can't get it to fall. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Here's Wesley. Here's Hollis Jefferson. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He's trying to make it a three-point play. At the line for Milwaukee, Rodney Hollis Jefferson. One shot. One shot. And that one misses. The Celtics shooting 34% so far on this one. Pass to Neesmith. Ooh, some solid defense from Hollis Jefferson. Here's Wesley, guarded by Edwards. Here's Wesley. Now DiVincenzo. Ilyasova, left side. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense Jason on you. Tatum. With the skills of a guard, Tatum has the size of a power forward. It makes him so tough to stop inside. Pass to Wesley. Jackson outside for three. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. You got to know where he is at all times. Here's Neesmith. Let's it go from deep. Knocks down the triple. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Pass to Jackson. Outside, DiVincenzo. A 
a touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. No, he's now four for eight shooting. Here's Edwards. Soft touch off the glass. Edwards. Edwards got his first two points of the night. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Here's Wesley. And he banks in the layup. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Outside Edwards. And they recover it. A nice shot Jason by Tatum. But he seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. Here's Wesley. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. Ilya Silva covering. And the layup falls. Great use of the bounce pass. Thumbs down on that one. Tough to defend against. The Bucks have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Wesley, that's good. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. Pass to Neesmith. Ilya Silva covering. Off target with a jump hook. The Bucks have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Second personal foul. And good whistle there. At the line for Milwaukee, Justin Jackson. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. So Jackson nails both of them. Boston has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Here's Mann. Pass to Langford. Now Brown. Ilias Silva covering. Brown can't hit. Well, the Bucks shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. James, outside. With the drive, Hollis Jefferson with it. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Here's Mann. Pass to Langford. Here's Ellington. Here's Mann. Check by James. They shoot again. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Jackson outside. Now, here is James. The D's right on him. They get it back. Hollis Jefferson. Lost and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It goes on Moses Brown. The officials were right on top of that one. At the line for Milwaukee, Rondé Hollis Jefferson. At the line for two. Shooting two. First one falls. Yeah. 
Both shots good from the strike. For Boston, they've gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Pass to Ellington. Sova with the length he has on those arms of his. He got to the ball. The Bucks have gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Here's Bazemore. Banked it in off the glass. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. So it's Boston now. Here's Mann. Pass to Langford. Here's Ellington. The three. He buries it from three. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. James goes in. Celtics foul. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for Milwaukee. Taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from James. Free throws good from James. Boston's gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Ellington. Well timed Wayne pass, Ellington. and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And elite passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride. So full speed, two points. Hollis Jefferson outside. There's Jackson with the three. Second chance effort. In deep, Hollis Jefferson drops it in. Hollis Jefferson's got eight points in the quarter. And when you're the ones trying to fight your way back into the game, you simply cannot allow second chances. Yeah, those are tough. You get back into the game by working harder than the other team, not the other way around. They're just going to extend this lead. Just five to shoot. Here's Lankford. A rebound by Hollis Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson's got a rebound number five here tonight. Jackson outside. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Hollis Jefferson throws it down. Jefferson. You could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. The Celtics shooting 47% since the fourth quarter started. Here's Brown. No luck on that one. Good D by Ilya Soba. Milwaukee has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Jackson outside. From 15 feet away. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Well, you give Ilya Soba some space out there in the mid-range, and he's going to take those chances. Here's Mann. Checked by James. Pass to Langford. Over Jackson. Shot is good Ryan by Langford. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. James attacking. Orford with some nice D. Boston with the ball. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Mann. Stolen by Baseball. And the Bucks pushing it up now. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Yeah, plays like this make Bazemore sort of feed off the frenetic energy that he plays with, capable of converting 
even though he gets bumped around a little bit, he'll keep coming at you. Kent Baseball. And one line for one. One shot. There's a minute 47 left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Mann. Pass to Langford. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Hollis Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson's got six rebounds in the game. And capturing the series momentum up front. This is a monster game one win for the Bucks. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And they have to be pleased with how they got this series started tonight. A nice 1-0 lead. The key now is to carry the same energy forward and get that second win. These are the playoffs, so you can't afford to relax or think you've got the series in the bag. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving him. Left side, Edwards. Pass to Lankford. Here's Mann. Six to shoot. Here's Lankford to end the run. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Bazemore. Hollis Jefferson outside. Here's Wesley. He uses the glass to finish the layup. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. So this one belongs to the Bucks, And it always takes a lot of pressure off a team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Giannis, a tremendous performance. What enabled you to win this game so convincingly? Uh, it was a team effort. I think we came out. We did not mess around with the game. Okay, we did our job, we defended, we moved the ball, that's why we were able to uh, close the game. Giannis always recognizing the importance of his teammates. Thanks so much, Giannis. All right, Allie, thank you. Time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.